we're here for a next update video. We have a new guy working here. You guys can all give him a hard time. His name is Caleb. He's over here. <laughs> Caleb uh, is just starting out. He doesn't know any snakes yet. He's just starting to get used to them. So he's just helping us out. Um, helping us flip some bins and you know work with the animals. So how was your first day going? It's pretty good. They're pretty cool. Like you have them. bit yet? No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll fix that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get into the update video. We have a couple of these tags here. There's snakes that are going to be laying really soon, so I'm not going to uh, pull them out, but we'll skip them for right now, and then we'll show you close ups of what they look like. So. Here's Ryan's favorite snake here in our collection. It's a het pied female, and um, she's pretty big. These are all of our adults. She's in deep in shed here. Um, is it her pre-ovulation shed? Is it her pre-lay shed? Who knows? So she's a het pied. Um, she's 100% het. We know we produced her, and um, she. I don't know, you can look at her stuff, but she hasn't laid for us. We've had her for nine years, eight years. Um, she's one of our first uh, snakes produced, and uh, we bred her every year, all year. She just doesn't produce for us. Okay, so moving on down the line, we have a fire female here that um, that is uh, just laid um, a few months ago. So she's. Still a little thin. Come here, girl. She's actually eating a ton. She's eating a ton. That's good. But uh, yeah, she's filling out though, for real. She's one of our beautiful fires from our fire line. That um, and it's not like, hey, this is our special line. But we just like our line of fire that we have. Uh, we didn't import them from Africa or anything. But she has some really cool colors. But also her patterns here are cool, and she has these really drippy tails and uh, some white that comes up here. It's like a ringer. I don't know if Ryan can see that well, but and uh, she's going back to her home. So um, yeah, but she laid not that long ago. The clutch that uh, the clutch that we just showed a video of a couple weeks ago, depending on when this views, but. It was the Enchi banana to that girl there, the fire. All right, so going on down the line, here's our pastel calico. is the biggest snake we have in the collection. She is deep in shed, and she was freaking out. She, we're pretty sure she's gravid, but it's really hard to tell. She's just so fat. I know. So she's real ornery right now. Wow, actually I'm not gonna mess with her. She's really, I think she might be, about to lay maybe, but she's in the shed so she can't be about to lay. She's but just cranky. She's real cranky. She's real heavy and impossible to tell if she's gravid at this point, but she's just real big. She's a big girl. So we'll move on down the line here. NG Spider, produced for us last year. Yeah. Girl, I know. She's also about to go into shed. I feel like the videos, all the videos, are the, all the snakes that we updated in our last update video all shed, and now the snakes that we have for our new update video are going into shed. So you can tell that her eyes are getting cloudy there. She looks kind of dull. So this is an NG Spider. She's a great snake for us. She's bred for us before. She's beautiful. Um, she has no head wobbles at all. And uh, she's breeding for us this year as well. She's not gravid yet, I don't think. So, and we can show you uh, how to palpate, if you like, in another video. So, and there's a couple tricks about that, but she's real pretty. Let's see, empty bin. Here's a pastel scaleless head. Not shedding. Come here, you. 
Okay. All right. So here's a pastel skillet head. Let's see if I can't get her head out here. Boop, 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 boop. So I get her head out. So you can see scales on her nose are all missing there. She's really pretty. She's pastel, but she's just about breeder size. Um, I don't think we're pairing her just yet, but she's getting there. So we are not pairing her. We are not pairing her, my expert breeder just told me. But she's getting there. Here is, no, stop it. Pastel Lori female. Look at this thing. She's pushing 1200 grams. She's getting there. So she, you can tell this isn't just a pastel. Um, the Lori Jean, something that we work with and I'll show you a super Lori soon. Who's about to ovulate, but you can tell, look at these crazy patterns here. And how she's so dark in between and the blushing on the top rib on uh, her dorsal there what a beautiful snake real excited to be working with the Lori Jean and excited to see what she produces so beautiful snake keep on moving all right <laughs> why don't you go back in? Here's a head lavender albino female. She produced for us this year. And the giveaway, so this should be airing before the next giveaway. Um, she's the mother of the lavender albino male that we're giving away. So if you haven't seen that and you're watching this first, go check out that video and comment in it so that you uh, have a chance to win a lavender albino baby ball python. She's good looking, but we also produce her. She's a great snake, eats really well. Skip her, skip her. All the ones with tags on them are about to lay, so we don't want to muck with them. I already said that. <laughs> hey Ben, yeah. what do the tags mean? <laughs> said that already but the tags we'll show you later all right so this is a firefly orange dream who just said who just said yeah she glows so fireflies have really good blushing here a really uh, blown out head pattern there and uh, our good bright yellow sides. But this has Orange Dream in it, so it's even more reduced pattern. The yellows and stuff really stand out. It's just a pretty snake. So put her back. And almost all of these we are breeding and should be ready to go soon. Here's our strange female. <laughs> I only say strange because she's been rubbing against the side of the bin a little bit, making these weird noises. But uh, this is our Super Lori. She's about to have her ovulation, we believe. She's really chubby, feeling good. You can tell Lori, just the same as that pastel Lori, this is a Super, so you see all these connected alien heads, the really dark pattern. So this is just Super Lori. She looks gray. Um, a lot of times the green pastel or, uh, or red stripe, right? Ryan? Het red exanthic. Het red exanthic, sorry. Yeah, het red exanthic, duh. They all say that they're similar lines, which we think they are similar lines, but the Super Lorries really stay silverish, um, even as adults, so look really great. And I really love her, I love this project. I said before it's one of mine that I'm like really pushing Fallon tag this is a mirror 
See, just a little touch on the head and can handle any ball python. They get a little head shy. Pastel Leopard Mojave. And all these are females in this rack. So Pastel Leopard Mojave. We also love leopard. It's really, really cool. Um, you can see some of this crazy pattern that leopard does. And of course it's bright. It's the Pastavi or Pastel Mojave. It's really cool. All right, moving on. This is a pastel leopard clown. I'm sorry, het clown. And she's really pretty. We're excited. We're breeding her to our killer leopard clown. So we're really excited to see what comes of her. So she's really pretty and we're excited about this project as well. Ryan loves the clown gene and um, I like leopard and... I know I'm weird. <laughs> I didn't say I'm weird for that. That one. Oh, not this one, those hey, ben, are egg. Ben, what do the tags mean? Tags mean that they're about to lay eggs. <laughs> Alright. Here, let's see who's produced first before is an NG Mojave. And uh, she's really pretty. I like Enchi Mojave's. I like Enchi, as you guys know from watching our videos. So we have Enchi in a lot of things. And uh, she's produced for us before and she'll be producing for us again soon. So, doing really well. She should be getting close. She should be. It's a pastel orange dream who just laid eggs. I'm, not, I'm gonna be real careful with her. Pass the orange dream. She laid five eggs for us. It was her first clutch. She's pretty deflated at the moment so I'm gonna kind of move quickly and leave her be. Now a spider orange dream. Come here. No. Stuck in there. Okay. Here's a spider on his dream. It's really cool. Ryan, what do you do? You call those honeybees? What do you call them? Oh, they're called dream bees. Dream bees. See, Ryan knows more about the genetics. I'm more about really just goofing off and having fun. So. Can we see a tag? <laughs> um. No. It's like a... This is why they call them ball pythons. It's like a sticky bun. <laughs> she is really solid right now. <laughs> Doesn't want to come out. Come on. Every time I, <laughs> she tightens up, every time I like touch inside. Like. Susie so didn't ask for consent. Eh. So. Kind of see her head right there. Oh, there it is. Don't know that. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for joining us. Make sure you like our video and comment below and let us know, you know what you want to see or if there's other things you want us to work with. I know that we've been told to work with uh, some sand boas maybe. Ah, the next big thing I said for years ago. Um, <laughs> and hog nose snakes. People are asking us to work with a bunch of animals. So we enjoy that and we're gonna, we take that into consideration when we're working with new animals. So also hit that bell icon when you subscribe so you know when we have new videos and also new giveaways. So thank you and see you next time. There's one of our little guys here. Hey cutie. Ah! <laughs> All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the video of the update going, right? So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna pull these and I'm gonna talk about them a little bit. And then when I get, ah! You really hit that thing up there? Ah. Why's it got a knife? <laughs> that ain't funny. What is going on? <laughs>